Bet one, bet them all. This is Sprawl and Colin. I'm your OC Rich. Ain't been in here for a while, but we're going to do Bellator 166. Dantes Warren 2. Uh, you know, looking at this, I actually do see um, some of us sharks making some money off this one. Uh, my main thing, I'm going to start off in the main main event. Eduardo Dantes, minus 215 currently, a Joe Warren at a plus 165. Now, I have not really ever been to any to bet against Joe Warren. I love this guy's mindset. I love his tenacity of going for the takedown and like never back down and whatnot. Unfortunately, the past two and a half years. I have noticed a major decline in Joe Warren. Um, maybe not the skills, but the durability. And the durability has let me down time and time again. And even with his last fight, uh, I was scared. He done got rocked. And he still was able to get the win. Uh, I believe it did. Uh, it was a decision. Eduardo Dantes is going to finish him within five rounds. I hate to say it, but it's going to happen. Um, and the one time in my life that I am advising you to bet against Joe Warren, it's right now took two minutes to say it but that's my spiel next AJ McKees he was supposed to fight uh, Manuel Sanchez Sanchez had to pull out now he's fighting Ray Wood who is seven and two who was supposed to fight some other no name guy that was uh, like six and four but this is actually a really short notice he was already uh, in fight ready so the minus 600 on AJ McKee he's only 5-0 and oh. it's not like he's some wonder kid uh, a minus 600 bet on a 5-0 and oh guy versus a 7-2-0 and oh, or 7-2 <laughs> guy I, I just I can't logically see it I would not suggest putting AJ McKee in your parlays um, I will put like 250 or so on Ray Wood. Maybe a $1 parlay with a couple other guys. I would not trust my money on AJ McKee. Elsie Davis, Marcos Galvo. Davis sitting at a plus 135. Galvo sitting at a minus 175. This one's really tough. My initial thought Elsie Davis. Then I thought about it. He has had trouble. Uh, but the only time that L.C. Davis has had trouble is with people that are going to take him down. And I don't know if Marcos Galvo is the guy that's going to be pressuring him to get, you know, for the takedown. The wrestlers are the ones that give L.C. Davis trouble. Galvo's more the submission guy. Where I'm thinking... Davis is going to be the one that takes him down because he's a wrestler base. And Galvo is going to throw up some type of uh, triangle or arm bar, uh, something. But it's only a three round fight. If it was five rounds, I could damn near guarantee Galvo would pull off a fucking submission more than likely. But with this being the three rounder, Davis really could control these rounds because Galvo, he's one of those pull it out of his ass wins. I'm taking L.C. Davis for the split decision more than likely. I do not believe there's going to be a finish for this one. Uh, Galvo, he's going to try fighting with him. He might go for the takedowns, but if he doesn't go for the takedowns, Davis has a better stand-up. 
And he will go for the takedowns and do the wrestling uh, top control pressure to win uh, the majority of the round. That's how I see it. Last we got Chris Honeycutt, Ben Rittler. I don't know shit about Ben Rittler. Honeycutt at a minus 260. All I know is Honeycutt has wrestling roots, but he doesn't use them much. He likes to wing punches and everything. And depending on what uh, Ben Reader looks like, I mean, I'm pretty sure these are 205 guys. Uh, I, I don't think I'm betting anything on that. But hey, thanks for watching. Uh, please always subscribe to the channel down below. Give the thumbs up. And forever and always, guys, don't blow your bankrolls.